A local artist is transforming the old feed mill in Denmark. Ellie Dean joins us live from the mill to explain. Hi, Ann. Good morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everybody. That's right. It is now the Mill Art Center that is out here at the old feed mill that's in the heart of Denmark. Molly Johnson is here with me. Her and her husband have literally transformed this place, but they really wanted to keep the flavor of the mill, too. They kept some equipment that was originally used. Molly, tell me why you did that. Well, it was important to Brian and I to keep the flavor of the mill for Denmark, for the history, for all the farmers who came here and still like to come and see the history and their grandchildren. So we kept this machine, which we believe is a fanning mill. I might get a phone call later. <laughs> but uh, it was important. It was one of the original machines, they told us. There's a pulley system which worked. Uh, which ran it. Uh, we believe there was a steam engine at one point. Another thing we kept was the grain bin and some of the scales. Uh, just, I'd like to have a little bit of a museum corner back mm -hmm. here. I have some wonderful plaques from Don Krupsek's family that donated them to me. Uh, the Skrnitschka family, which was the builder's, the owner, original owner. Um, lots of photographs and memorabilia that we found as we renovated. Yeah, now this place, it literally is a, a school, an art studio, a display area, and so much more, and you really wanted to let the light in when you were renovating this place. Tell me why you wanted that. Well, it's important as an artist to have natural light. Um, also, though, I think just letting the sunlight in is so much more welcoming. The, this was more of a warehouse loading dock floor at the time when we purchased it. So it was actually easy to take the large doors, turn them around, and put it in some recycled doors that we picked up. Well, we have a picture of the outside of the Mill Art Center that you can take a look at. Brian Johnson is here. You put a lot of TLC into this place, Brian. I mean, the outside, it's beautiful what you have done, but you've had to do a lot on the inside. So tell me about this big stairwell that you had to put in. Well, this was, uh, we had to get up to the second floor, and we're like trying to figure out what are we going to do. So we spent about two weeks trying to engineer it with a bunch of friends and then actually constructing it to get it, using the existing space. We didn't have to cut a hole in the floor. We used an existing hole that was already there and tried to work around that. Um, Let's talk about all of the time that you've had to put into this. Cleaning, renovating, I mean, oh, you probably don't even know how much time. Time would be <laughs> endless. Um, many hours we spent just in spare, our spare time, enjoyed doing that, but uh, I don't know how many hours. If we kept track, it would be impossible. <laughs> yeah, we have some pictures of when you first yes. came into the place, and you were saying there were just, I mean, dust was a, a, a bad thing that was in here, right? We probably hauled out, I'm guessing, somewhere around 20,000 pounds of grain dust and flour. Oh, wow. Goodness. It's unbelievable. And you said you had to knock down walls to get to more dust <laughs> to clean out more. Every time we tor turned a corner for two years, we'd knock a wall down or tear something down and we'd find another three or four hundred pounds of dust. Wow. So putting in doors, windows. I love that you kept the original flooring. You know, you're talking about you have to insulate too. That's going to be another big project for you out here, right? Yes. A very big project. It's a big building and Trying to heat up four floors is almost impossible without insulating. So Yeah, well, they have four floors, but they're using two right now. We're actually going to head up to the second level coming up in the 7 o'clock hour, so you won't want to miss it. We'll show you what's going on there and talk to you about the Academy of Fine Art that they have out here, too. So you won't want to go anywhere. We'll send it back to you for now. Thanks, Sam.